So talk about, first of all, the importance of mentorship for open source in general. It's the way that new people get really brought in. And and you can all sort of remember it. Like if you remember your first job um, where you, you showed up there and you're all sort of nervous, you don't know what desk I should sit at, you're not quite sure where do I hang out with who at lunch, all of those kind of like basic social stuff. But then also just sort of the etiquette of how you get things done and, and how you move through you know, your daily tasks and things like that. Having someone that you can model and learn from is the way that you begin to grow, you know, because that's how you grow is through real life experiences and working out in these communities. So there's a definite benefit for the person because it's a hard, it's a hard path to get started in open source. It's not very straightforward. And being able to see someone you, mo you model makes it easier. On the flip side of that, if we look at what healthy communities look like, they're diverse communities and they're communities with a number of new participants coming in. And, you know, one of the biggest challenges in open source today is burnout. And where that kind of keeps coming back to is you have these big maintainers that really steer and help run the project. And they end up needing to, you know, burn the candle at the both ends of, you know, the wick, as they might say, and, you know, get involved in coding and get involved in code reviews and then get involved in strategic stuff and, you know, having to deal with all sorts of feedback and things in the community can just burn them out. And you end up getting into an area where you have this, you know, single you know, fulcrum within your project to get things done. And, you know, after a while, you just tap out that resource. You know, those people think, I can't leave. I can't take a vacation. I can't walk away. Or, or maybe this technology just isn't interesting to you at all. You're, you're sort of setting this project up for, a, you know, a bad cycle. And so that's one thing I work with a lot of project communities on is just thinking about how are you bringing that next group in? Because that next group is what helps carry it forward and lets you as a maintainer then step back and let that next generation move it forward. So it's it's a really, really important part of a healthy project life cycle to always be bringing new people in and especially bringing them in leadership roles.